Hello, this is Lun. This is a pretty big day for VR um, and Windows 10. It looks like in the latest Windows 10 build, uh, 10130, um, a new driver has dropped as of May 22nd. At least that's the date on the driver, but I don't think it was available or installable up until very recently. I'm using my phone because I'm lazy. Um, if you take a look here, you'll see 15.2, uh, 10.23.5. And what's really interesting about this driver is, oh my god, the Oculus Rift works. It's 75 hertz. I can see my desktop. In fact, it's fully detected. What's really interesting about this too is that it supports something called 3D mode. Um, it looks like Windows 10 detects the Oculus Rift as two separate displays, which is actually what we hoped would happen. Um, and if we look at the new uh, display management, you'll see that it's actually showing up in portrait mode here. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to respond in games. I haven't gone that far yet. Uh, but if we take a look at the advanced display settings, you'll notice it has 3D display mode. You'll also notice that it properly detects the resolution of each individual eye and marks it specifically as 3D. So 948 by 1080, this is a WDDM 2.0 driver, which means it is DirectX 12. This is a true DirectX 12 driver and an extended desktop without the Oculus display service, the Oculus is running. So what this means for games, I don't know yet. I'm going to find out and get some, uh, some frame rate reports. Uh, I'm probably going to try it out with Arc um, when they drop the, uh, the Windows, Windows 10 build, which apparently is coming next month. So really exciting times. It looks like AMD has done something to make the Rift semi-compatible with this latest driver. And this is something that Oculus actually wasn't able to do. I haven't tried putting in the Oculus driver yet because I don't think that it can find the correct registry locations for the new... Um, display driver model for the screen, but this is really good news. Before, we didn't have this working at all. You couldn't actually run extended desktop, and uh, Oculus Cat and other people over at Oculus had stated to me after I found the bug last time that they might actually need to write a new driver entirely. Um, but uh, this is what they expected to occur, and I think it probably may have had something to do with AMD in general. I'm not sure, but uh, good day. Definitely good day. I'll give you guys some uh, some more info soon.